So I've been playing Minecraft for about 8 years, and I've gotten quite good at the game. But, I realized that there are many advancements in the game. When I made the video, Every Advancement in Minecraft 1.17, it gave me a sense of how difficult some of these advancements are. Since then, they've added like 20 new advancements in 1.18 and 1.19. Look at how many advancements there are. This is like an item representation of how many advancements there are in the game. There are like 100 and something, if I remember correctly. And I'm gonna be ranking them all based on difficulty and effort. So one important note about this video is that we're assuming that the difficulty of each each advancement is based on assuming that you've completed the previous one. For example, if we look over here at Minecraft and we say we're ranking, uh, we need to go deeper. Basically, that means, so we've gotten obsidian, lava, iron, and we've done all of our basic stuff. And I'm also not going to be doing root advancements because those are probably all lie in the F tier. They're quite easy. If you're wondering what each of these advancements do, I'm not going to be going over it in this ranking. I'm just going to be putting them on a tier list. So it might be a good idea to go check out my every advancement 1.17 video if you haven't already. Also, as a warning, these are my opinions. They're not entirely correct. You guys could have a completely different opinion than mine, but these are just my thoughts on how hard these advancements are. Also, the reason why I'm wearing a techno skin is, well, you guys probably know. But anyways, let's just get right into the first category of advancements, Minecraft. So let's start with this one, Stone Age. Well, this isn't very arguable. I think this goes straight in the F tier. All right, next one. Getting upgrade, pretty much exactly the same spot. All right, acquire hardware. This one, a little bit more difficult, but is it really? I'm putting that in F tier as well. Okay, suit up. This one you can get like boots or something. All you have to do is four of this. What I'm guessing is that most of these are going to be F tier, so I place this in F tier. All right, hot stuff. Finding a lava pool could be a bit tougher, but it's still pretty easy so i'm gonna put it in d tier for now all right is an iron pick three iron ingots but you actually don't need to find lava so i'm putting that in f tier not today thank you you can just find a skeleton out in the open right and you just block an arrow from it I'm putting that in f tier ice bucket challenge this one's a bit harder actually you need to get diamonds in order to find the obsidian or you can find a ruin portal but that's a bit harder i'm putting it in d tier diamonds every minecraft player has experienced this probably and it's a very nice feeling to find diamonds but to compare it to everything else on this list it isn't quite as hard so i'm just gonna put it C tier, D tier maybe? I will put in C tier for now. That might change. All of these might change as I go along and find new advancements. We need to go deeper. You don't even need diamonds for this one. If you're a good speedrunner, then you know how to do this. You can just make a portal using a bucket and a lava pool. So I'm just going to put it in D tier. All right, cover me with diamonds. I'm going to put in the C tier along with this one. Enchanter. I think that makes the most sense to put it in here because well, lapis isn't that hard to find if you're going to find diamonds. And you're probably going to encounter some obsidian if you're down in the depths looking for diamonds anyways. Okay, zombie doctor. It's not hard to cure villagers, it just takes time, but getting that weakness potion in the early game, it's a bit harder. So I'm gonna put it, I think I'm gonna put it in C tier, but I think it's a bit easier than that. Eh, we'll put a D tier for now. All right, I spy. This one is kind of difficult, actually. I'm gonna put it in B tier because you need to get the eyes of Ender and then you need to find the stronghold. If you're a regular Minecraft player, then it's not that easy to track down the stronghold. You need to know like the specific coordinates where they spawn and where to dig down and stuff. So yeah, B tier. All right, next up, the end. That's basically the same as this, but we're assuming that I Spy has been completed. So all you really need to do is find the stronghold room and enter the end. Finding the stronghold room, it's not that hard. You can just trial and error it, but it does take time if you go the wrong ways. So we put it in D or C. I put it in a middle ground, but there is no middle ground. So I put it here in D tier. All right, that is the Minecraft section up there. And I just used the wrong item for the item frame. Next section, the nether. Here we go. All right, first one, return to sender. This one requires a bit of skill. Not really. Just need to aim and time the fireball correctly. So I'm just going to put it in C tier for now. Those were the days. It's just entering a bastion. It's not really raiding it. It's just entering it. You can just walk in, walk out. But you have to find the bastion, which could be a bit difficult. So I'm going to put this in C tier. Hidden in the depths. All right, this one is a little bit tougher than these, but it's not the hardest thing in the world, but it's not easy. You have to mine around for it and stuff. So I'm putting it in B tier. Subspace bubble. It's not that hard, but you just need to to survive for 800 blocks or however long it is so i'm gonna put it in c tier a terrible fortress i'm gonna put it in the same tier as the bastion one because it's just finding a fortress all right who's cutting onions the only two places that i'm aware of that you can obtain this item is ruined portals and piglins ruined portals are not very common but trading with piglins isn't that hard you just need a bunch of gold so i'm gonna put it in d tier it's just rng at that point oh shiny once again not that hard just throw gold at piglins or something or not even gold just like golden boots sword block anything at piglins and piglins are pretty abundant throughout the nether so i'm just gonna put it in f tier this boat has legs saddle strider 
I think it's F tier. Just need to ride Strider. Uneasy Alliance. Okay, this one is a bit difficult. So you have to get a big enough nether portal for it to go through. And you have to lure it through the portal, which is pretty difficult. So I'm going to put it in A tier. It's not easy to get a gas through a portal. All right, War Pigs. It's just loot a chest in the Bastion. You have to make sure you don't die on the way to the chest. But other than that, it's just like entering the Bastion. You just have to open a chest. So I'm going to put it in B tier. It's a bit harder than entering a Bastion, but it's still not as hard compared to the other stuff. Lodestone. The process of getting the Lodestone, pretty sure you have to like raid a Bastion. Or actually you can craft too, but the easiest place to get it is probably the Bastion. I'm going to put it in B tier because the process of getting the Lodestone is not easy. Cover me in debris. You have to get four netherite ingots and that's about 16 debris. That's not easy at all. I'm going to put it in A tier. All right, spooky scary skeleton. This one is hard. It takes a lot of time, even with looting three, to get a wither skeleton head. I think I should put it in B tier because you only need to get one. It's like a 5% chance, but you still have to be good enough to survive. Into fire. This one, it's a more common drop. It's like a 50% chance or something. But you have to enter a fortress and kill a blaze. I'm going to put it the same one as war pigs. B tier. Not quite nine lives. All right, this one requires a respawn anchor, which means you need to get this stuff. It's quite easy to get with piglin trading, but I think you only need like three or four or something. I don't even know how to craft these. I'm going to put it in C tier. I don't think it's that hard. Feels like home. This one does not seem hard at all. I'm going to put it in the same tier as this one. Hot tourist destinations. It's completely RNG based, but traveling in the nether for a long time without dying and exploring all five or six biomes. I forgot how many there are. It could take quite a bit of effort. So I'm going to put it in B tier. All right. Withering Heights. This one is just spawning a wither. You don't even need to kill it. You just have to spawn it. So three soul sand and three wither skulls so the three wither skulls in of itself already puts this in b tier because yeah those are really annoying to get local brewery i mean technically you can find brewing stands in a village but at the same time well another word is used for like half the potions maybe so i'm gonna put this in uh c tier bring home the beacon so you need to kill the wither for this one that already makes it pretty hard if it's your first beacon killing the wither of itself is hard so i'm gonna put it in a tier a furious cocktail that one's a tier as well that many potions the effort to get that many potions is a bit much. Beaconator, also an A tier. You need to get all of that iron. Iron, gold, emeralds, whatever. And if you don't have a villager farm, it's gonna be quite a lot of iron. So, there you go. Even if you have a beacon already, that's still A tier. How did we get here? I, I think there's no question about it. I'm putting that S tier. So, here's a funny story. You know when I was recording that advancement video, when I was doing the how did we get there advancement? That took two hours, and I cheated like uh that it's it's not easy I, I i don't know how many people have actually done this in their minecraft world so yeah that's another we got our first s tier let's go to the next section next section we have the end it's quite small actually there's only eight of them excluding the root one so let's start with free the end killing the ender dragon for the average player it's quite difficult for an experienced player not really so i'm gonna put it in the middle i'm gonna put it in a b c b tier the next generation assuming that you have free the end already it's not that hard to get a dragon egg so f tier remote gateway if you already killed the dragon you just have to like trap door yourself into there or you have to pearl yourself into there so d or f f tier the end again you have to get four end crystals for that that's killing some gas and getting some like eyes of ender too that's actually quite a bit of resource gathering so i'm gonna put it in b tier as well you need a mint okay to be fair this one isn't that hard you just need to let a dragon shoot you and gotta pick up its breath so i'm gonna put it f tier the city at the end of the game so this one it's also rng it's just like finding like another fortress or something but it's a bit easier because the endermen don't necessarily attack you if you don't look at it but at the same time you have to cross large amounts of void so i'm gonna put it in c tier the sky is the limit you have to survive an airship for that one i'm gonna put it c or b tier uh, if you already entered this all you really have to do is just find an airship and get into it so i'm gonna put it c tier all right great view from up here okay this one is probably gonna go in s tier because getting hit by that many shulkers and surviving is hard and the levitation isn't even that much so you have to get constantly get hit by shulkers s tier for sure wow that's it for the end i guess let's go to the next section all right so now we have our longest section and that is the adventure section so let's start with voluntary exile it's hard with the extra pillagers for the average player but it's not really that hard so i'm gonna put it c tier is it a bird you're gonna have to find a parrot for this one if you're near a jungle then it's quite easy and if you're not then it's gonna be a bit time consuming but overall it's on the easier side so i'm putting an f tier monster hunter okay this one is going in f tier as well you just have to kill like a zombie or something it's not hard what a deal that's also quite 
F tier. There's not really anything hard about it except like maybe getting the resources, but you can do the simplest trades and get this achievement. So sticky situation. You have to harvest a lot of B nests. Well, not a lot, just like four or something. It's not as easy as these, but it's not hard either. I'm going to put it in D tier. Old Betsy. This one's just fire crossbow. It's not that hard to make a crossbow. Let's put that F tier as well. Surge protector. This one, you have to wait for a thunderstorm, but that's literally the only difficulty there is. Lightning rods are not hard to make, so we put that in D tier. Caves and cliffs. For the average player, it might be a bit difficult, but for more experienced players, it's just like dropper. You don't have to MLG or anything. You just have to live, but making that giant tower is, is a little time consuming, so I'm gonna just say C tier for now. Sneak 100. You just need to go to a deep dark and find this. Finding the deep dark is the hard part, so I'm putting in D tier. Alright, sweet dreams. That one is quite obviously F tier. Hero of the village. You have to defend a whole raid. I mean, it depends on how many people are doing it, but if you're just doing it by yourself, fending off a raid is quite difficult actually, so I'm gonna put a D tier. I mean, B tier. is a balloon. Alright, this one is probably gonna be... I'm gonna put a D tier because you have to get to the nether. Throw away joke. Okay, you have no idea how hard it is to get a trident. It is like a 1 in 7.5 trillion chance to get a trident. It's so hard to get these. I'm putting it like A tier. You have no idea how hard it is to get those things. All right, it spreads. Yeah, they spawn in the deep dark, so I'm gonna put it at the same as the sneak 100. Take aim. Okay, this one's F tier. Monsters hunted. This one, it's really hard to keep track of which monsters you've killed, which ones you haven't. And also, you have to kill the wither and the ender dragon. So, S tier. Definitely S tier. Post mortal. The hard part about this is getting the totem. So, I'm gonna put it here and the same as hero of the village because you have to like fend off a raid. Hired help. The hard part about this is literally just getting getting the iron so i'm gonna put this d tier star trader if you have played on an smp before you know how annoying it is to move villagers like actually they have no brains at all if you wanted to go somewhere they go the exact opposite direction unless they're in the minecart or boat i'm gonna put it b tier because you can abuse the nether to like teleport a villager into the sky two birds one arrow this one is actually quite hard because you have to align phantoms perfectly to get the perfect shot with the piercing and getting the piercing in the first place it's not easy so i'm gonna put an a tier who's the pillager now now, hard parts finding the pillagers. I'm gonna put it in C tier. Arbalistic. If you saw in the 1.17 advancement video, you saw how I got boats to align them perfectly. If you do that, then it makes it much easier, but it's still quite hard to get five unique mobs. So I'm gonna put it A tier. Adventuring time. Oh my gosh. This one is freaking impossible. I'm putting it S tier. Like you have to visit the sub biomes too, like the hills, which is really dumb. So I'm putting that S tier. All right, sound of music. The hardest part about this is finding the diamond, honestly, for the jukebox. I'm gonna put a C tier because it's the same tier as the diamonds. Light as a rabbit, that's not hard at all. You just need to find powdered snow. So I'm putting that F tier. Is it a plane? This one assumes that you, that you have not gone to the end before. That process is pretty difficult in and of itself for the average player. So I'm gonna put it the same as I spy, which is B tier. Very, very frightening. Assuming that you already have a trident, it's not hard, except that you need to get the channeling enchantment, but that's not as hard as other stuff on this list. So I'm gonna be putting it in C tier because you have to find the village. Sniper duel. It's not the hardest, but also not the easiest. You need to just have aim and just kill a skeleton. So I'm gonna put it in C tier. Bullseye. You have no idea how impossible this one is. Okay, look at this. Look at the target block. You have to hit a two by two area. Like I forgot how many blocks away. Like tens of blocks away. Like this far away. A two by two pixel with the error math of the bow. I'm putting in this S tier. It's so hard. All right, so that is it for adventure. All right, and finally our last section here, husbandry. So let's start with be our guest. It's just the it's just the items, making the items and finding a beehive. So I'm going to put that D tier. The parrots and the bats. Eh, not hard at all. You just need to find two of a mob. Put a D tier. I've got a friend in me. I don't know how hard interacting with an LA is. I've never really interacted with one before, so I'm just going to put it in C tier because I've never seen it before. Okay, that one is very biased. Whatever floats your goat. I've never done this before, actually, but getting stuff in a boat isn't that hard. So, and I know goats do charge at you, but I don't think they're very frequent. So I'm going to put a D tier. Best friends forever. No matter what it is, I think it's just D tier. Glow and behold. So you need to get a glow ink sack for that one, which isn't that hard at all. I just need to go to the caves. I'm going to put that D tier. Fishy business. This one is just a waiting game. I'm putting F tier because, well, you literally don't have to click anything until you get a fish. Total B location. So silk touch could be an effort to get, but not really that hard. But you have to move a nest with bees inside too. So that's a bit of a waiting game. So I'm going to put it C tier. Bucket bucket. Okay, that one I don't think is that hard. Combining swamps and mangrove forests. Those are probably not hard to get. CD place. Yeah, this one's F tier. You just need to get seeds and stuff. 
wax on. Assuming that you have honey already and you need a copper, so it's not that hard, honestly. To right click a copper block. Remember, we're assuming that you have honey already. Two by two. Oh my gosh. This one is hard. Finding every single one of those mobs and breeding them all, including like hoglins. I didn't even know you could breed hoglins. That's like weird, but that's hard. I'm putting that S tier. Birthday song. I don't know how lay mechanics work, but I assume that it might be a little hard to get it to drop there. So I'm going to put it C tier, but I'm not 100% sure. So a complete catalog. It's like two by two, but it's not as hard as two by two because you don't have to tame as many cat variants as have to breed animals. So I'm going to put it A tier. Still quite difficult though. Tactical fishing. Okay, this one's F tier. Here. Fish are quite common if you haven't noticed. When the squad hops, I don't even know what this is. Get each frog variant on a lead. For that reason, I'm putting in the same level as this. Actually, I'm gonna put it lower because I think there aren't as many frog variants. A balanced diet. Oh man, this one is hard. You have to get every single food. S tier, it is. All right, serious dedication. This one's kind of funny. You have to get netherite. So I'm gonna put it at the same one as the netherite's achievement. Wax off. This implies this. So I'm gonna put it at the same tier. The cutest predator. Lush caves aren't as easy to find as you would think. So I'm gonna put it D tier. With their power combined this is like have all of the the frog lights or whatever i have no idea how rare it is for a frog to kill a magma cube or something but there's only three variants which makes it not as hard but i'm gonna put a c tier because of uncertainty all right the last one the healing power of friendship it's the same difficulty as getting axolotl but you actually have to kill something along with your axolotl so i'm gonna put a c tier and there we go that is our tier list let's see do i want to put anything anywhere else uneasy alliance i'm actually want to put this one s tier i'm putting this one s tier all right i think i'm gonna be moving what a deal up to the D tier because you need to find a village and that's not the easiest thing but that's literally the only difficulty there is this one assumes that you found a fortress already so I'm gonna lower it down to D tier okay so this one feels like home I had no idea what it did but now I know you have to bring a strider over to the overworld and you have to ride it over lava it said 50 blocks 50 blocks of lava that's quite a lot of lava you have to wait a lot in front of cauldrons and stuff if you're gonna get that much lava so I'm moving it up to C tier and I'm also gonna be moving ice bucket challenge up to the C tier because obtaining obsidian is not as easy as obtaining lava. It's about the same difficulty as diamonds because pretty much all the time diamonds equals obsidian. I'm also going to be moving war pigs down to the C tier. Actually, I'm going to put it in the D tier because I have no idea why I put it up that high when you already entered the bastion. So if I learned anything from making this tier list, it's that most of these advancements are just checkpoints of progress and they aren't like actual hard legitimate challenges, except for the ones at the top. These are incredibly difficult, but yeah, that is my tier list. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Do you disagree with me? Do you want me to change some rankings? Let me know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and go watch these other videos or else nothing will happen. Goodbye.